Hey y'all, so I am back with three super simple recipes, and they're so simple and quick because we prepped our difficult ingredients in our last video, so if you haven't done it, go ahead and watch that and hit that subscribe button. Let's get into the video. So we're gonna start off by making our veggie patty. You're going to need one whole cooked sweet potato, and we roasted ours in the oven in our last video. Now we're going to take a half cup of quinoa, a cup and a half of black beans, that we also prepped in our last video. Some diced mushrooms, these are raw, and then some dehydrated mushrooms for texture, a little bit of spinach, and some hemp hearts. Now we're going to add a tablespoon of tahini. And the tahini is going to add flavor and it's also going to help bind along with that sweet potato. The sweet potato is the primary binder, but because there's so many ingredients, I just think that the tahini helps everything hold its shape. Now it's time for seasoning, and I'm just gonna add some granulated garlic, granulated onion, some cumin, and then I'm just gonna mix everything together and make sure the flavors are equally distributed. And I felt like it was missing something, and that something was heat, so now I'm going to add two tablespoons of dry Chimayan chilies. You can leave that out if you want, but mama likes it hot. Now just to round out the flavors, I'm gonna add a pinch of Mexican oregano. And when we're done spicing it up, it's time to form our patties. And I apologize y'all because I'm all kinds of out of frame for this, but um, I think we know how to make a patty. We're just looking for something nice, round, and brown, much like DJ Quick. So we're just gonna make those patties and put them on wax paper so they don't stick. So beautiful. Now we're just gonna throw them in a hot pan with a little bit of avocado oil. Because there's no oil or fat in these burgers, they will stick, so you need to put some oil down. And be very gentle when you're flipping them so they don't fall apart. It's equally as important to test the flavor as you're cooking. And because I'm a crazy person, I'm going to go around and tap the edges to make sure that they look juicy and round. Your veggie burger is seared to your liking, you're done. And you have something that tastes as good as it looks, guys. Now we're going to move into our sweet potato and black bean bisque. Telling you one sweet potato isn't enough information, so I'm going to go ahead and let you know you need 244 grams of sweet potato. Then you're going to take the skin off. You could leave it on if you'd like, but I don't like the texture. So I'm going to remove the skin of my sweet potato. And now I'm going to measure out my coconut milk it's four large tablespoons or or around about 107 grams you can add less if you'd like and I forgot to turn my camera on so you're gonna need to add two cups of veggie stock to the sweet potato and coconut milk mixture and then you're done your bisque is so simple and easy it literally took like two minutes to put together and now it's just time to serve it on up and We've got the sweet potatoes covered, and now we're just gonna add our black beans for texture and for added flavor. And I'm just gonna garnish it with a bit more coconut milk. Delicious. And for the last recipe, we're gonna be making this tasty tofu scramble with black beans. So to half a brick of tofu, you're gonna add a tablespoon of turmeric. And then you're going to break down your tofu until it starts to look like a scrambled egg. And you're gonna to wanna to incorporate the turmeric into the tofu so that the flavor and color is evenly distributed. Now just give yourself a high five for being awesome. And then add a pinch of salt. Now to a pan that I've been sweating some onions in, I'm going to add mushrooms. And this was just about like two large mushrooms chopped up. And then I'm gonna throw in some scallions. Just kind of mix them around. You see how caramelized those mushrooms are getting? They're perfect. So once I've got that caramelization, you can add your tofu scramble. Then some black beans. I think this is just like about a quarter cup of black beans and then more of those green onions for garnish and you're done. So if you enjoyed this video, go ahead and hit it with a thumbs up. And if you haven't done it already, subscribe. And if you make them, tag me on Instagram at Awkward in the Kitchen. Peace, y'all.